Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Dashcraft, and I'm finally back with another episode of this or just version 13 tutorials. This is the episode number two. In today's video, we're gonna learn how we can make a ban and kick command. They are a little bit more advanced than what I did in the last video, but it will definitely help you to make your commands better. We're also gonna introduce arguments, so we can use arguments instead of our commands, or we'll have multiple arguments when we're using a command as well. This video is gonna definitely help a lot of people and uh, I hope everybody enjoys it. Anyways, I'm not gonna put any intro to today's video. Just make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's actually get into today's video. So in order to, for us to continue making this kick and ban command, we need to implement um, CMD and message array system. So for us, in order, so basically we can use uh, the second argument third argument and other things and uh, it will be way better and also we're not going to use message or content this time because we're if we just use this command it will basically have to look for something to this command and it won't work and it's a really bad way of doing it them and i will i will just explain in a second to you guys so first of all let's make message array so let's do miss const message array is equal to message dot content dot split and then we can just do this so that's pretty much it we just made message array message array will be the each array will be counted as an array basically it's kind of hard to explain your message the content of the message it will split it to space so each space will be counted as an argument but still we need to define the argument so we have to do const arg we can name it arg we can call it argument but it's kind of too long we just do arcs and then we can do this and then we can do message array dot slice and we can slice one from that so each slice will be an argument now we also need to use another if statement we're not going to use message to count this time we're going to use uh, a cmd so we need to do const cmd is equal to message array and then the first message array the first message array will be our cmd so then we're going to do cmd is equal equal to backticks let me just copy this it will make my life 10 times easier I forgot one equal. It doesn't really matter. You can just put two equals as well. Let's do kick this time. Let's go ahead and learn how we can be a kick command this time. Make sure that somebody has an argument. So if you don't have an argument, then this is not going to work, obviously. We're going to do if there is no arguments. Args um, zero, which stands for argument number one. Each argument is one more than what we're expecting to have, basically. Um, so then we're gonna, uh, do return message.reply. This time we're gonna use message.reply because it looks better and it will also be more organized as well. I'm not gonna use message channel to send. Let's go ahead and be a little bit different here. Let's go ahead and do please mention or put someone's ID or username in order to kick. Or you can just say, I say too long. Let's just say you need to specify someone. Yeah, we can be really flexible with this. I'm not going to really go into the details for that. Let's go ahead and do if... I'm sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and do const member this time. So for member, we're going to define the member. We, will, we have to get the member data first. We can just tag someone and it will automatically work, right? So we have to do message.mentions.members.first. And that's pretty much it. So what will this do is basically the first mention of member or the first members mention that, that's you can say that as well this is the easiest way i can explain that you should guys be able to say uh, understand that in case you don't understand this then you just have to do in case you don't understand this let's say this is the kick command the person i'm gonna ping after this kick command will be a member so i'm just gonna ping like proxy my bot as an example this is not real right uh we can kick proxy and then uh, this this person is basically the code we put here. However, if I put the bot's ID in here, it will not kick it because we also need to specify the ID for the argument. And let me just do that real quick. We have to do and and. This stands or in JavaScript. So whenever you use this, this means or instead of your code. Then there's gonna be this big line. I know it's a bit long. Just if I'm gonna explain it one by one, but if you need the source code from this, go ahead and take the link, link in the description down below. I put a source code and for each episode as well. So yeah, message.guild.members.cache.get argument number one. So it will get the ID basically. This is made for getting the ID of the person when we're putting it. And then this here is really good because we can also use the username in order to get someone's 
information and then kick them. So message.guild the members that cash that find. X stands for a username, that username that tour locates, which will basically make sure that the username is either to lower lowercase or not lowercase. And we're also gonna use another or instead of another bracket, which stands for if the username is the same username, argument number zero. Um, so either ways, whatever we do is gonna automatically detect that this is a really strong system. You should be able to copy and paste this. I mean, if you if you don't want to write it down, just copy and paste it. But please make sure to understand this. Before we start a kick process, we don't want this command to be used by everyone. So we want to make sure that this command has a permission. We're gonna do if not. This stands for not as you know. Um, message dot member dot permissions dot has. And then it's kick members. It has if it has if it doesn't have the kick members permission, then it's gonna return us with message or reply. Where is your permission, bro? That's it. And then we can kick the member easily by just doing member kick. If we pass every single one of those checksums, and we're gonna also send the message saying message the channel that send. We're gonna also use backticks because uh, they're better. We're gonna do backticks and then the dollar sign, and then we're gonna do member. Sorry, member, uh, which is this. So wherever we input, it's gonna be also inputted in here. Uh, just got kicked. Of course, it can be very much customizable. This is pretty lazy text, but just be customized. You can even make embeds as well if you want to. Now, before we continue take checking this command, there's also two more checksums that we need to make sure about. One is making sure that we're not kicking ourselves. This is really straightforward. Just make sure you don't kick yourself. It will, so if someone tries to kick themselves, this spot will automatically return an error. So we're going to do message dot member dot id is equal equal to member that id so if if the message that members so the whoever using the command has the equal amounts of um has the equal id as a person who we're mentioning then it's gonna do a return and say message dot reply um you can't kick yourself dummy there we go you won't be able to kick yourself either but what if the bot doesn't have a kick member's permission? Then you can just simply solve that by just doing if no permission. Th this doesn't mean no permission. It means no, basically in coding in JavaScript. Message the guild the me, which which means the guild the bot me stands for the bot basically. Uh, message that me guild the member the, the sorry this is the guild dot me dot permissions dot has then we need to check for kick members and then if it doesn't which we said in here no then we're gonna do return message dot reply i don't have permission to kick people there we go these checksums are pretty much done i mean if there there should be more checksums but that those are the basic ones and the simplest simple ones you can do more but I'm just gonna just be with these for now. They're pretty enough for now. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and test the bot now. Let's go ahead and do no dot. And let's go ahead and kick someone. Let's go ahead and kick. Um, let's first kick someone who doesn't have a bot permission. So, I mean, a permission to kick at all. What are we using again? Oh, this bot. Let's go ahead and make sure that this bot doesn't have any permissions. Let's go to the server rules. Then test bot. Make sure it doesn't have any administrator permission. So it won't be able to kick. And then let's go ahead and kick uh let's go ahead and kick this and it says i don't have permission to kick people all right then i will give you the permission there we go and uh, let's go ahead and kick this spot again and just got kicked and as you can see just got kicked as you can see the bot is kicked automatically and there we go congratulations you just made a kick command now for the ban command it's a little bit more harder but it's pretty simple again it has the same scheme and pattern but just copy the whole command of kick so we can make our work easier paste it under this then make this ban then you need to also do the same argument check the member should be the same thing and uh, of course if this time we need to check for ban ban members ban members there we go so make sure the bot and the person who's kicking has a ban members permission um and let's just replace this with ban. And then in here we have, you can kick yourself dummy. Obviously, we're not going to go ahead and do message the member.id. Yeah, this is fine as well. You can't ban yourself. 
And then now we need to give this a reason. Obviously, this works the same way. We can just do ban in here, but we also need to give this a reason for the ban or just don't put anything. But in order to just specify a reason for this, we just have to do let reason is equal to args.slice1.join space. So we have to do args.slice1.join space. So we'll join these spaces together. Then if there was no reason, then we're just going to say no reason. Simple as that. Then in here, just do this and then reason and then the reason. We just specify reason, reason. Straightforward, right? Okay, but before we continue, make sure that this is right. Yes, you just got banned and let's go ahead and try it out everything looks perfect so let's go ahead and do ban let's go ahead and do this is a test to check all ban works woohoo let's go ahead and ban a bot i have so many bots here let's go ahead and ban this just got banned as you can see my members also just got reduced a lot honestly but whatever let's go ahead and check the logs other logs there we go this is a test to check all ban works there we go we also specify the reason and the reason also is working if i go to bands in here it will also show there we go ban reason again this you can also say you just got banned let's go do make a line reason then again the dollar sign and the reason is reason there we go. But you know, you get the idea. So after this, it's going to also give us a message that just got banned. And the reason is a line break. That This N here stands for line break. So this line break and then a reason on the bottom and the reason in front of the word reason, basically. And that's pretty much it. You just made yourself a ban and kick command. I'll have these source code in the description down below in case you want them. If this video helped you, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and share this video to your friends. Also join to our Discord server if you need further help. We're really happy to help every single person who needs help with our Discord bot inside of our Discord server. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching today's video. This is Ashcraft, and I am out. Bye, guys.